to look. If I was Nancy, I'd be like, oh, what things got strange. But no, no she's no, like, no. what do you think of Corbin? <laughs> Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. Of course you could. Of course you could. Well... She was having a bachelorette party. What Duh. else? Oh. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. No That's shit. all I know. <laughs> How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay, maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. That's sort of mean. Why would her mom have anything to do with it? Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going yes, missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. How was Jessalyn acting that night? <laughs> How was Jessalyn acting that strange. night? She was classic Jess for Which most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screamed. And then she's nowhere to be found. <gasps> what happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. Yeah. It felt like hours. Then she came I'm really back. Confused. First I you wouldn't say what had happened. Then she was a and now, and now she's by herself. She left alone. You she went everyone downstairs else. and that was that. Oh my god, they think so strange. Finally you can ask. <laughs> you said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get this. But then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy. Yeah. Fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jeff was scary. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone. Jess yes, you can finally ask a really good question. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. She sang. Have you heard Charlotte's song? It's really creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the That's house? That's so brave. No. Right. But it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. Bigfoot. And now? And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can so close. So deep. So deep. What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. I'd better get going. Decent. Bye. That's all you can think, really. Good opinion. <laughs> I have to explore the house now. Oh, this is past. It's my favorite song. Okay, last time I opened that door, Grab there was a screen. shadow there and it moved, and I screamed. Graphics are really good. I know. No, I didn't want to go there, I wanted to go upstairs. <laughs> oh, gosh, Nancy. Oh, I know what goes here. It looks like the painting is missing. Ta -da! <laughs> Franklin Thornton. Sure, why not? <laughs> Just take it. Oh, it's a phone charm. See, look. Oh, did you get the extended version? Yeah, the bonus edition. It's a phone charm. <laughs> of a creepy hook. Creepy hook. <laughs> uh, what else would it be? Why the house is always destroyed? It adds to the creepy, creepy atmosphere. Mariana thought. 
guessing this is the door she wanted to get. So, over this, um, let's see. Check. Right, look at this. I you keep an eye out for the key. You'll find it. See, it's very helpful. Thank you, right? What's that smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. <laughs> oh my god. What smudge? What she holding? Hmm. Hmm. What? Oh, uh, this smudge. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Think of Clara. She's she's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then I wouldn't know. Well, that's a bit. You're holding something back. So what if I am? Oh, thanks for that. Don't want to go in the house. Don't blame me. How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to marry. And then I threw a rock. <laughs> like, metaphorically? No. no, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. Uh, I'll never live that down. I imagine things improved from there. We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... So, you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but so nothing good. worked out. One day, Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're going to get married. It's like, Go oh, to it, I'm going to get married. Get married. Please marry myself. Oh, yeah. Jess was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that I always cheered her up. We talked through the night, and by the time the sun came up, it just stopped sounding so silly. See you later. Goodbye. I reckon you can go to school for a while. That's what I don't really want to. I was like, that was a step. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Let's Oh, 
talk to you. <laughs> Ladies first, <laughs> I don't think you can do anything until we get to the end. Oh god. Hell. Okay. Um, Seriously, the cemetery, really. Yeah, go to the cemetery. I'm too scared. Okay, forward, yeah. You're not Savannah. <laughs> you must be Wade. Is she with you? Are you the new assistant? Oh my god. What's his name? Get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. Oh my god. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No, that ain't, it. that ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. Of course. <laughs> I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. What kind of mess? Take a look around and then you tell me. More Who's more here. welcome here? The living, the living or, the or the dead? Anyway, Savannah had a oh, pack yeah, of sin. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. I saw a job with the family company. Who runs the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? <laughs> no. Can you give us a bit more explanation, please? Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet <laughs> nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. <laughs> the things they do with animation these days. <laughs> oh god, there's so many. So much to talk to. Uh, Let's just start from the top yeah, and go down. That's what I usually do. Who else is here? Clara, that's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other like alive or verifiably like real people? Something. No. Oh, good. I hope we get to meet her soon. Him, her, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think of Colton? I do not She's like that little shitty punk. little punk. But I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With Wait, him, I mean it a little Wait. extra. That's all I know. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessie's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. Do you know Savannah? I did, once. And now? And now I don't. <laughs> What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin, Harper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama. Oh, passed. Harper, that—that's the person. Like, yeah. Did you make some Harper? Yeah. Did you meet How did you meet Savannah? We went to the same bookstore. Okay. <laughs> you don't seem like the type. <laughs> okay. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while. Gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, What is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. <laughs> but then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. 
Why would she have that? Why indeed? I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. I doubt she will. <laughs> I met this creepy ghost. After that, so call me she became name. obsessed with Thornton Hall. We got to know each other. I fell for oh. her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died. That's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. It must be fun at family. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? And now? What do you think? So, what do we think? Uh, I don't know, magic. I think you are. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're right. Thanks, sir. What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here. See, in the state we're in, but we're loaded. What's that have to do with anything? The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead. Especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You will see. Who are you? Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. I'd better get going. Later. <laughs>